What's good and what's up guys, us two Jet here, some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. In the last episode, uh, we battled Zigvar, got rid of him, it was just down there. And we came here and found Riku. We finally know where he is. And the previous cutscene we saw where we found out that Ansem right here is Riku. I want to explain it real quick so that everyone who keeps saying all the stupid crap with Sora x Riku, that needs to shut up. The thing with it though, when Sora found Kairi, he was all like, yeah, he's Kairi and all that, and then uh, quickly like started bawling when it was Riku. He knew Kairi was safe. He knew exactly where she was. That's why he uh, wasn't all that really concerned with her. He knew where she was the whole entire game. He had no idea of the fate that befell Riku. The last time he saw Riku was a year ago uh, when they were closing Kingdom Hearts, like the uh, door after defeating Ansem. He had no idea where Riku was or anything. That's why he was uh, straight up started crying, where it seemed like he didn't care that much about Kyrie. God, that feels good to uh, finally say. That's one thing that I really hate is uh, with the Kingdom Hearts fan. Like Kingdom Hearts fans are like basically saying, "Oh, Sora and Riku were blah blah blah." No, shut up. Also, that reminds me, we got one of my absolute favorite Keyblades uh, in any Kingdom Hearts game, Oblivion, and it has the same strength as the size of pumpkin. But it also has plus two uh, magic. I don't care. Dry boost is awesome too. But give me Oblivion. It's my favorite looking Keyblade. Love this thing. It also resembles uh, Sora's friendship with Riku. So let's go ahead and get on going. And in this next room is magical stuff. This spot to do. What's this gadget for? It's a device to reclaim Kingdom Hearts and encode it as data. Not sure I get it. I do not claim to know the outcome of this venture either. After all, hearts are unpredictable. So welcome to Proof of Existence. If you talk to Kyrie, she's going to say, I don't like uh, the feel of this place. It's almost like a graveyard. Just uh, about just about everything is in ruin. Do you know what it means, Sora? So we have... This is where all the organization members are basically located. We have one of them active right now, and the second one over here that looks to be intact. But to briefly go over them, we have the Free Shooter, Zigbar. We have the Whirlwind Lancer, Zaldan. Over here we have the Chili Academic. If you played Chain, some of these names will look uh, familiar. This is Vexen. We have the Silent Hero, who's not actually that silent. It is Lexius. Over here we have uh, the Cloat Schemer. That would be Zexion, I think his name is. Not gonna go over this one. We have over here. Uh, Fury of Dancing Flames. It is Axel. We have the mis the, Mel the Melodis Nocturne. That would be Demix. Not going to go over that one quite yet. We have the Graceful Assassin, uh, Marluxia. We have the Savage Nymph. This is um, Larxene. And we have the Key of Destiny. This is, as you can probably guess, Roxas. And you notice. It's still kind of glowing, even though it's broken. I'll get into that later. So we have... Well, actually, let's go ahead and heal Donald Goofy up real quick, even though it's not going to be that important in this fight. But right here we have the Gambler of Fate. We met him once before. Let's go ahead and go. What's that? It's the King and Diz. I mean, Ansem the Wise. They must be higher up. We better hurry. You! I'd rather we just skip the formalities. Run out of time is the 
lose. The battle with Luxor. We met him in Port Royal the second visit. You're going to start off the battle constantly as a dice. And what you want to do is try to avoid him as best you can. You can do a little bit of damage to him, but it's not really that advised. And it's going to eat up your drive form, so don't worry. This is a solo match with just the two of them. But the whole point of it is he's going to try and cause damage to you, making, uh, come on, drive form. You should go be done. You should be going down. There we go. So go ahead and attack him. What we need to do is cause enough damage to him that, uh, let's see. We need to cause enough damage to him that will uh, make his time go down. And uh, he's going to do the same to us. Flip. Uh, high motion. So what we need to do is... Did I win? Oh, nope. We're, we got to turn into a card. We can do a little bit of damage. Uh, you can also attack as the dice. But really what you want to do is just try and get away from Luxor. This battle is quite interesting, to uh, say the least. So he's going to... Oh, come on. Come on. If I can get away from him and uh, get turned back to human. Come on. Heal. So let's go ahead and just keep on trying to hit him. So the main thing I try to do is just to constantly hit him. And here what you want to do is look for him. He should be this one. So just attack him. Uh, I believe like each card you get right and use against him uh, does take time down on him. So here he's going to try and scramble himself again. Nope. Come on. I hit the wrong card. That one. How you doing? Oh, he's got quite a bit of my time down, actually. So, go ahead. And let's see, he's going to do the same thing. It's... Let's see what... Oh, he's... That one. Nope, that one. How you doing? And eventually, he's going to cause, like, a huge deck of them to appear. And... Come on. Come on. I never understood this fight, like, what you're really supposed to do. I just keep on, like, attacking him and, uh... Just play flippy cards occasionally. So just keep on up oh, again game. Aha! So here we go. He's got a lot of my time down, and usually it's his time that's down further. I don't does he have uh, more time than I do? You see though each time you attack him, it uh, does cause more of his time to go down. So just keep on fighting him, flip the cards occasionally. And I want to heal. That's going. To, that's probably a good idea. So here we go. Oh yeah, he, he, I definitely have more time than he does now. So attack. I really don't understand the uh, gimmick of this battle, so... I want to heal real quick. You want to be careful, because he's going to, uh, like, appear out of random cards and try to attack. Oh, you see he's in red, so yeah, he's definitely on uh, the, like, end of his ropes. Oh, so am I. Do you know the rules? Yeah. Nope, that was wrong. That was wrong. Why can't... Oh, there we go. You can jump into him and cause uh, a bit of damage. So, but it's not really advised. This is usually how the battle goes. It gets really close, and it makes it seem like I'm about to lose, so... Keep attacking him like so. Come on. And almost got him. Let's see. I should be turning back to uh, normal Sora soon. Come on. Oh, this is really close. Come on. And almost got him. Heal. There we go. How could you, Roxas? That's Sora! You okay? Yeah, no worries. Let's keep moving.
Yeah, that was quite the interesting battle. I like Luxord's battle, but at the same time, it's also really weird. So, I mean, it's it's a nice little twist. So now with him defeated, we also have this place over here opened up to us. This is the Lunar Diviner, Zyx. Let's go ahead and confront. 